I saw this man that was a very, very big man. I, and he had a big uh, hood, like a satin hood, over his head with eye holes uh, to see out of. My wife was in front of me, and they began to tell her she could renounce her faith and, and live. And now I realized what was happening, because this man was standing there with a huge sword. It started down here with a handle, and began to come up like this, and then like this, and then a big arch like this. And then I saw this table. My wife said she wasn't going to renounce her faith in Jesus. So they got angry and strapped her down on this table, this man standing behind her with this sword. He took the sword and chopped her head right off. But what happened was with this sword, it, it, it left an indelible mark in my life. Many years after the dream, I was participating in a uh, county fair. I was actually uh, visiting it in a place up in California, uh, at Visalia. And I was watching a parade, and there was a bunch of older guys riding little motorcycles and zooming around, and they had vests on and little caps. It, it was uh, kind of strange to me. I didn't really know how it fit in, but afterwards I was walking down a side street, and there was a big, big van a big cargo van and it said please support uh, children's hospitals the shriners etc etc and then all of a sudden it, it had this cap that these guys were wearing and the sword that I saw this executioner holding I just sat there and froze when I saw this sword I, I didn't you know I didn't know how to, to to take it I didn't know how to perceive it it was uh, it just emptied me out of all my ability to, to think really clearly. When I left that fair, I went and started studying out because I thought the Shriners were pretty nice people. I mean, they had nice hospitals and, you know, they helped a lot of crippled kids and that kind of stuff. And I had no idea, but something told me that this sword uh, was connected to them somehow. And I began to research them and I found out that they, in fact, are involved in quite a bit of some, some dark, dark things. And I found that the, the little cap that they wear, the fez, is red because they've promised to dip it in the blood of Christians because of the anger and animosity towards the Crusades where the Christians uh, killed lots of uh, Muslims and Jews. The other thing is the sword, and it's called the Sword of Scimitar. And uh, I searched this out, and it was the exact sword that this individual was using to execute people.